Good Monday. I'm Malia. Welcome to Monday Morning Jolt. Let's get started. Good morning. Today with us is Tim Worley. Um, he's a barber and a massage therapist. That's right. In other words, he's one of the few guys that I have been naked around. <laughs> <laughs> when he was doing the massaging thing, right? Yeah. So, he's not just a barber. He has done, I mean, he has been recognized recently as the oldest barbershop in downtown Fort Wayne, right. and then the city recognized you as, could you um, elaborate to us? Well actually we are the only barber shop left in downtown Fort Wayne, but we have been in business now for 42 years, mm -hmm. and of course the owner is semi-retired and wants to eventually get out, turn, turn it over to new blood, mm -hmm. but we don't want to lose that 42 years, we want to keep going and be with downtown Fort Wayne growing like it is it's really exciting to see what is happening in downtown Fort Wayne mm -hmm. and we want to be a part of it yeah and then that 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 uh, that aroma or whatever the name that you know like that uh, barbershop thing is yeah. these days it's gone so um, you still not have in our the, shop <laughs> you still have the same yeah yeah, yeah. the guys Guys tell me, yep, my wife will not have been to the barn because, you know, the yeah. smell is here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Do you do the close shades too? Yes, we sure do. Oh, wow. So you do the oh, yeah. In fact, um, not only do guys come in for just the straight razor shave, but we have, in, in recent months, had actually grooms and their groomsmen come in on a Saturday morning, take up the whole morning, and I That's a good idea. do straight razor shaves. It's almost like a morning bachelor party. No, it is. Oh, the, uh, the brides are off at the beauty salon yeah, and the guys right. should go to the barber. Yeah, that's right. great. Yeah, that's, that's great. The, that's the idea, right? So that's, yeah, yeah. right. And, and we're pretty much, there's not very many that do the straight razor shaves anymore. So, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's a becoming a lost art, but the guys that come really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Tell us why Mondays are great for you, Tim. Well, Mondays to me just is the start of a new week, and and uh, I look forward to getting calls. I the shop is actually closed on Monday, but uh, the barber shop phone number is call forwarded to my cell phone number. Oh, so great! So I, I get excited if I get a phone call. I'll go <laughs> go into work anyway. Oh, will really? you? And so, do, do barbering on Mondays. This um, might be a secret out. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, it's, it's out now, so it's just yeah. ringing. Yeah. And what do you do to kickstart your Monday? Actually, what I do on a Monday morning, sometimes I even get a massage myself. Really? Just start it off. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, physician heal thyself, massage therapist heal thyself. <laughs> but it usually my my Mondays are pretty busy, whether it be barbering, uh, networking, so that I can get more barbering, or I do also have a. Um, on Monday afternoons, I go out to Parker Hannafin in New Haven. Uh, they offer their employees massage. Oh, okay. Oh, so nice. I do chair massages for them because the employee themselves only pay just a, a fifth of what the actual cost is, and then the company picks up the difference. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So it's it's a added benefit for them, and mm -hmm. you know I love doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so Tim, here's the thing, now. You know, they always say like, like when you want to get advice, you go to the bartender or the barber, right? Uh, so, yeah, I'm the barber is. Yeah, I am sure you have, have I, your I share have of many, yeah, your share of. Like, yeah. Many guys start the now, conversation. Don't tell yeah. the groom story. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes I do feel like I. I what happens at the barber shop stays, stays at the barber shop, shop right? <laughs> yeah. So beyond the barber shop, can you give? our audience a good advice? Well, I just feel coming to a barbershop and actually getting the experience of the old-time barbershop like we are, number one, is a starts a good thing for the guy, mm -hmm. I mean puts him in a good mood, but mm -hmm. it also, especially the guys that tell me, well as long as my wife likes it, as long as, you know, 
good grooming. Happy wife, happy life. Happy right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and good grooming yeah. Yeah. makes them feel better about themselves. And, you know, I like the fact that, you know, I wish I could take more before and after pictures yeah. of the way the guys come in, you know, and they'll say, you know, pretty me up or whatever. <laughs> pretty me up. <laughs> but that's, you know, I feel, and that's what it is about barbering and massage. It's a service to people and it makes me feel good to be able to serve them, mm -hmm. whether it's massage making them feel better. Mm -hmm. You know, help, help, it is also a health benefit, mm -hmm. but doing the barbering, of course, makes them feel better about themselves because when they look in the mirror and see something good, yeah. you know, it's... It raises self-esteem. Right. It, it does. Yeah. And you probably yes, notice it, it right away. Right. Yeah. Well, do you have an adage by which you live your life by? I just basically uh, live my life. I want to, you know, serve God, serve the people, and that's there you go. That's it. Right. So, Tim, if you were to have a superpower, what would that be? You know, actually, I think I've got the power of just helping people. That's, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's really good. Uh, tell us something about you that would surprise people that think they know you. Wow. Um, <laughs> I guess the one thing in my past that I feel that people don't know now is that I not only have four biological children, but I've got 35 other kids because for about three and a half years we were foster parents. Oh, oh wow. Okay. And had kids in our home anywhere from a day up to a little over two years at a time. Wow. So you have so, 39 39 kids. So how, many, how many grandkids does that make? Oh, that's the question. <laughs> I can have six of my own. <laughs> so how's Christmas at your house? Pretty full? Yeah. yeah it's, uh, <laughs> it's nice to have those six grandkids. I never, you know, like, oh, yeah. range in age from nine down to just a little under two. In oh, fact, wow. my youngest two are only a week apart in age. Wow. Oh. So... Tim, how do people get hold of you to do business with you? Well, I've also I've got a website, www.bankbarber.com. Mm -hmm. Bank yeah. Barber? Bank Barber. I'm yeah. in the PNC yeah. Bank That's Barber a great, building. Great domain. And uh, I'm, I'm also on uh, Facebook. I've got Executive Barber Shop mm -hmm. on there. But the best way would be 260-422-5916. We are located on the seventh floor of the PNC Bank Building. That's mm -hmm. 110 West Berry, and mm -hmm. we do also take walk-ins as well as appointments. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! So we would like to thank uh, Tim for coming and joining us thank today. Thank you very Thanks much. And uh, mm -hmm. he he ch cheered me up by giving me a massage before. I didn't get one. Yeah. Uh, hey, after, afterwards. <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> so uh, I think he didn't want to. He didn't want to share. Share because yeah. he's yeah. right away <laughs> yeah. came so, back to start this. So <laughs> we would like to thank you, the audience, for listening in. This is Monday Morning Jolt. Use it.